So the aircraft's all checked out and the cameras are rigged. It's now time to do a bit of a route brief with Philippe. We're heading IFR to Bern, which is in Switzerland. Coffee in hand. Garmin pilot. Yes. <laughs> Auto router. Philippe, thank you for having me back. You bet. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, I was well behaved last time, so uh, Philippe invited me back again. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do some mountain flying in Switzerland, hopefully. The weather today isn't looking too great, is it? It's going to test, test the metal of our skills. Uh, I'm not worried about the airplane, right? The airplane's full Fiki, which is flight into known icing certified. So crossing the front that we need to cross, the weather we have here in London, with the snow flurries of the mini beasts of the east that we've had the last couple days. Uh, and then in Switzerland, they have snow showers. Great for the skiers this week. Not so uh, good for us. Less <laughs> good for us in mountain flying. So our original plan was to head over to Zurich, but things have changed a little bit now. Where are we heading to? Yeah, so we're gonna go into Bern, and it's about a, a two hour and 40 minute flight. And then if the weather's good enough, Right, which should sort of maybe or maybe not be, depending on how the clouds have moved. Uh, we'll cancel the IFR before we touch down. We'll go for a quick uh, spin through the, the valleys, nice. uh, see uh, see those skiers, and then uh, come back and, and land in Bern. So what's the route like? You've got your, got your iPad here with Garmin Pilot app. Yeah. And then you basically load on here, and then we send this to the aircraft to how it works. Yeah, exactly. So I use Garmin Pilot because it syncs through a piece of hardware called the Flight Stream 510. Yeah. Uh, it syncs with the avionics with just a simple touch, right? So the auto router uses uh, the auto router online, right? And uh, so it has all the airways in, all the waypoints, everything. So user input error, which is something we always need to check yeah. when we're putting in a, 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 a routing. A, it's non-existent, right? Because you're literally just tapping send to the navigator and then accepting it on the uh, MFD on the, on the right-hand screen. Nice the amazing. We're all strapped in now and we're briefing the route. Definitely Baltic cold outside, the snow blowing across the runway, so it's going to be interesting departure. Uh, we'll take off, we'll climb uh, probably on a right turn direct to Detling VOR, and it'll be a step climb initially, two and a half thousand feet, then about five thousand feet, and then finally up to, is it 110? Yeah, probably 110. Zero, 1 degrees, dew point, minus zero, 05 degrees. QNH 1012 one hectobascals. Pilots read back the QNH and report PAPA received on first contact. Got PAPA 1012. One decimal four. Big approach, number 662 Delta Papa, information Papa, QNH 1012, one minute request start. Number 662 Delta Papa, big approach, good morning, start approach, QNH 1012. Start 1012, one number 662 Delta Papa. Big approach, number 662 Delta Papa is ready for IFR clearance and also ready for taxi. November 662 down to Papa, taxi to hold at Hotel 1 after departure via Dover 2, standard departure route. Climb to altitude 2,400 feet and score 2266. Taxi to hold Hotel 1, and departure will be Dover 2 to altitude 2,400 feet, score 2266, number 662 down to Papa. Number 2 down to Papa, correct and caution the taxiway has not been treated for snow or ice. That's copy, thank you, number 662 down to Papa. Right, so, uh, squawk here. Awesome. Departure route. Departure procedure. So Dover 2. Right from runway 03. Gotcha. Loaded in. Great. Awesome. I've got the uh, the flight plan in Garmin Pilot yeah. right here. Let's send it to the navigator. All right. It shows up right there. That's so fast. Activate it. So now our whole flight plan is loaded in. Fantastic. November 662 Delta Papa, Hotel 1, ready for departure. November 2 Delta Papa, right, 7 mile, runway 03, clear to take off, wind 05017 knots. 
Right, turn it one mile, runway zero three, clear takeoff number two Delta Papa. Approach looking clear. Yeah, that's good. Okay, runway zero three. Well, it's good to be back, Philippe. Ah, I'm looking <laughs> forward to this. <laughs> so the smooth application of the power, sort of two to three seconds. Don't want to jam it forward on these, do you? Yeah, don't jam it. We've got zero three, zero three. We are clear for takeoff. Slight crossing from the right hand side. Okay, heels on the floor. Great. A lot of right rudder. Three hundred fifteen yeah. horsepower is pulling you forward now. There we go, the prop's kicked in. Prop governor. Okay, TTPs are in the green, SPs are live. 477, that's 70. 75, 77. There, there rotate. We go. Excellent. And don't be afraid of that trim, right? Yeah. That's it, there you go. Whoa, there's our wind. Uh. There's the wind. Amazon for 120, so flaps can come up now, clear of obstacles. Alright, so there's 600 AGL, so caps is now available, you've already got the flaps up. Cool. November 2, Delta Papa, traffic is saying Gazelle helicopter not working, me passing about 4 miles north of the field will be raining clear of the ATZ, altitude 1,300 feet. Traffic copy, good looking, number 2, Delta Papa. Oh, we're above that traffic already, so... <laughs> November 2, Delta Papa, contact temps radar, 128.025, bye bye. 128025, number 2 Delta Papa, good day. 10th good morning, number 662 Delta Papa, passing altitude 2200 feet, climb altitude 2400 feet. November 622 Delta Papa, 10th, good morning, scorecard end, climb to altitude 3000 feet. Scorecard end, time altitude 3000 feet, number 2 Delta Papa. Right, 8703, descent to altitude 3000 feet. Alright, so because we just missed it. Delta Papa, you're identified to radar control service, flight heading 095. Radar control service, flight heading 095, number 2 Delta Papa. Number 2 Delta Papa, climb to altitude 4000 feet. Climb altitude 4000 feet, number 2 Delta Papa. Flight 238 tail speed 210 knots. Right, so the two Delta Papa report you heading to London one three five decimal three two five. Bye bye. One three five zero two five number two Delta Papa. Good day. Let's confirm that's one three five decimal three two five. One three five three two five. Correction number two Delta Papa. Easy nine one Charlie Bravo. Climb now. Flight level one three zero. One three zero nine one Charlie Bravo. Thank you. Bravo Foxtrot. Turn right heading one nine five degrees. Flight heading 195, Flyer 5, Bravo Foxtrot. Flyer 5, Bravo Foxtrot, report the heading to London, 135, decimal 050. Bye bye. 135050, Flyer 5, Bravo Foxtrot. London number 662, Delta Papa heading 095. Great. November 662, Delta Papa, thank you. Continue on the heading. Climb now to altitude 6,000 feet. Climb altitude 6,000 feet, number 662, Delta Papa. November 662, Delta Papa, could I just confirm you requested cruising level, please, sir? One one zero. Flight of a one one zero, number six six two, Delta. Yep. So, right, F hand flying yep. with the flight director is exactly like autopilot, except yep. you're flying it, right? Cool. So you set so to manage it. Right so it's still you set in flight level change. Bug until one hundred twenty. I think one zero five. Right. Yep. Level one and now you can follow that flight director. Number six two, Delta Papa, turn right heading one zero five degrees. Climb flight level one one zero for the cruise. Right heading 105, climb flight level 110 for the cruise number 662, Delta Papa. And, and we're out. We're out. Look at that. That's where we want to be.
I think I did alright there, there's a lot going on in a very short space of time. <laughs> it is, yeah. Very accurate. <laughs> you did incredibly well. Yep, you did incredibly well. Um, there's a lot going on leaving London. Two six zero, report heading to London. One three four decimal nine. One three four decimal nine with the heading, but minus three to Victor. Spirit six seven six, make the heading zero nine five degrees. This is like now, quick and easy to use. Yeah, it is. Three zero nine five, climb now, flight level one two zero. It's about as easy as it gets. There's this usual what they do, just put you straight onto headings on departure. Yeah. Yep. Which is fine because what actually what you were getting is like cutting a little corner. Yeah. That's normally how that works. I'm smoothing out now. Not that it wasn't smooth before, but <laughs> I thought all those bumps were just for flying. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I got 23 knots on those, aren't we? Giving us a ground speed of 110. Yeah. So in the uh, in the 22T, we leave throttle full and mixture full rich all the way until cruise altitude. Climb, climb over 140. Yep. What I do typically is I change uh, on five gallons. I switch my fuel tanks. Right. right so cool. five, 15, 25, 35. All right. So we've just hit five. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch our tanks to the right tanks. Yep. All right. No shuttle one four X-ray, Roger. Yeah, so we're fully loaded airplane today, right? We're three, three big boys. We got our, our overnight bags uh, in the back, plus a, plus a couple boxes of brochures. Um, and 1,100 feet per minute. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Right. That's uh, about right. Can we walk now? Yeah, sure. We'll uh, adjust as we need it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dial up the weather through our satellite weather. Service provider. Sorry, was that easy? Two, three, Papa Bravo? Right. Global Connects, which connects with the Iridium satellite system. Easy, two, three, Papa Bravo, thank you. Standard speed, no delay. So we'll get uh, weather now along our whole route, so precipitation. Delta 662 Delta Papa, turn left, heading 090 degrees. Left 090 degrees, number 662 Delta Papa. Shuttle 14 X ray, continue right. present heading. Present heading, all shuttle 14 X ray. Yeah, this is uh, this is a little different from the G5, right? And then of course the QWERTY keyboard, yeah, the home a button. Easier. So a little, some things are different. What I think we did is I think we removed a layer of button pushing, right? And that's what sort of the justification for this change. Uniform, thank you. Flight level one five zero. Oh, one one zero. Correct. Yes, sir. Zero nine zero descent. Flight level one five zero. Shuttle one four X ray descent. Flight level eight zero. What I do when I'm flying by myself, right, in order to manage the, the cockpit work environment, I just, I do what you did, but with the autopilot engaged, right, and then I, I can focus a little bit more on leveling up properly, managing the power, yeah. right, all the different step, uh, the, the step climb that they give you, right, you get three frequency changes, leaving leaving Biggin Hill, so that indeed there's a lot, a yeah, lot going, going on, on, right, and those airspaces are busy, so when you, when you, punch into the TMA, right, and you're talking to Temp's director, or Temp's radar, I mean, he, that guy's controlling a, a gazillion airplanes, so yeah. he doesn't even have time, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to think about, so got that's where the autopilot will go. really help. Oh man, and 110 looks like it will put us just above this, perfect! Alright, so level Step off, it'll one, see the flight directors zero, come uh, down, okay. yeah. Yep. Set the power, so set the power 30.5 inches. Hello, hello, see that 4 3 Lima Quebec, sending flight level 180 towards uh, Abbott. Easy 4 3 Lima Quebec, correction, speed with 4 3 Lima Quebec, thank you. There you go, and then lean in, five minutes. so that, that arrow's on the blue line. Speed with 4 3 Lima Quebec, standard speed, please. Speed with 37 Victor Golf, speed 270 knots or less now for space in. Five, five, three, Tango Kilo, turn right. There you go, that's it, perfect. Right there is great. I'll keep on flying. Yeah, I'm doing all right. You're doing all right indeed. Yeah. So that's it, that's your cruise checklist, right? Power set to your cruise setting, mixture set. Right, and then just verify it, so once we're in the uh, in the cruise established, I just check it if everything's in the green, everything's in the green. So, green is good. Roger, 5-5-2, Tango Kilo. 
MS-12, climb now, flight level 8 MS-12, uh, one, two. So here are the airplanes. And this is ADS-B information. So that's what they're, that's what they're sending us. And if we zoom out, we get a bigger picture. We can see the preset. Wow. So this, is, this is snow, right? And that will be rain. Right there, but we're not going that way, so no factor. Yeah, so it looks like we're cutting around the, around the main parts of the precinct. You also see these little flags? These are the METARs, so you can get a really fast snapshot. Where is it VFR? So that's VFR, right? Where is it more IFR? Where is it marginal? Yep. Where is the weather incomplete? November 62, Delta Papa, turn right heading 105 degrees. Flight 105, number 662, Delta Papa. Excellent. Yeah, that one's turn off. Fly 7 kilo hotel, so the left heading 075 degrees. 075 degrees, fly 7 kilo hotel. Emirates 1-2, there's no speed restriction, expect further climbing 5 miles. Emirates 1-2. Yeah, it's cool to have the inset HSI, right, so it just brings up, oh, brings your scan a little bit closer in. I have this set to relative terrain, so it shows traffic and relative terrain, so if we zoom out, right, we'll see the mountains. I mean, you know, it's just great for the thing with IFR, so I'm on my scanner, you know, heading height, heading height, speed, heading height, heading, height, heading, height, heading, height, heading. Exactly. Let me know exactly where I'm sort of going. Right, seven kilo head south, turn right, heading zero nine zero degrees, descent flight level one one zero. Right, zero nine zero degrees, and descent flight level one one zero. Fly seven kilo south. I'll hand fly it until we get out of the country. <laughs> sure. November six six two Delta Papa, contact Lille approach one two zero decimal two seven five. Lille one two zero two seven five. Number six six two Delta Papa. Zero wings 461, climb flight level 180. Zero two runway 08, after touch, you can put to the feet. So I'm going to push for foot button right. Little number 662, Delta flight level 110, direct Rinty. Uh, number 662, uh, Delta Papa, Roger. Uh, report uh, passing uh, tracker. Report passing tracker, number 662, Delta Papa. Flight level 120, routing to uh, Arfield, and then on to Dijon. That's right. Um, north of France. We're over France! Yeah, my uh, pronunciation of French uh, airways point point isn't very good, uh, but Philippe is quite good. So we'll call it Arfield. Arfield. So it doesn't sound like something else. Yeah, call it Arfield. <laughs> it can sound a bit dodgy. Flight time now is 1 hour 30 minutes, when we've had quite a bad sort of headwind on the way down here. The arrival into Bern. At the moment it has us routing to a VOR Sapre, which is over Lake Geneva, uh, so between Bern and Geneva. Uh, what I'm hoping is that when we need to get closer to Dijon, we'll get the shortcut closer to uh, closer to Bern, maybe to a, a uh, VOR uh, Fribourg, which is the initial approach fix for the ILS into, yeah. uh, into Bern. Right, looking at the uh, the satellite weather, right, if we just scroll here over to the airport, there's Bern here. We can see the uh, the weather, so it's few clouds at, uh, at uh, 1,000, and then broken 3,400. Uh, so uh, we'll probably be doing the ILS uh, to break free, free of those clouds. And depending on how uh, how few that is, because the last uh, the last METAR was broken at at a thousand. So if it's back to broken, then uh, we'll we'll come into land. If it's still few, we'll uh, we'll take the view uh, based on the visibility. If we can quickly putz in and do a loop through the mountains. We're direct freeboard now, so we got our shortcut that we wanted. It took probably about uh, 10 minutes off the the flight time. And then we're now sort of working out the route. We, the, I mean, the main aim sort of coming to Zurich was... 
to avoid military airspace at turn uh, right uh, 10 degrees. Right 10 degrees to avoid the airspace, number 622 don't bother. Yeah, so that's just that little clip there, isn't it, in the military airspace? Yeah, exactly. They did say it was active, and uh, we asked for the shortcut, we got it, but a 10 degree diversion for uh, what looks to be about a minute. <laughs> in military maybe, airspace. Maybe a minute and a half of flying, we should be all right. And uh, we're just having a, a sort of a talk now about what we're going to do with the arrival, so we're thinking potentially do the ILS approach. The whole, our whole idea was uh, coming to Switzerland to do some mountain flying, which we were really excited yeah. for. And uh, just unfortunately, the weather's been bad, we've had this mini beast from the east again. Um, so we're hopefully going to do a little bit. We're thinking perhaps do the ILS to go around just to sort of see what's happening uh, beneath the cloud. It's currently down at 1500 feet at the moment. And then if we can do, do a little bit of mountain flying in the area. Uh, and then yeah. land, and then it's uh, lunch time. ILS 1-4. Yep. B fire, is it going to be vectors? So, why don't we just go Birky, right? Yeah. So, because you can always go back to vectors, so. And then, we don't know the minimums yet. Just hit load. There you are. Enter, yes. Great. So it's Brilliant. in, look, see, we have beer key in as our last, our last uh, fix. Number 662 Delta Papa, resume to Fribourg. Back to Fribourg, number 662 Delta Papa. All right, so we'll just go scroll back up here. There you go, now direct enter, enter, we'll do it. Beer key was our last fix in the flight plan, and it's our you know, first fix, of the, so it's just two beer key. Anyway, All right, we can load in our minimums, All right, which are right here. So we're gonna go minimums two one seventy. Right, and then the temperature was three degrees, was it? Two degrees? Zero degrees. Zero. Zero degrees. So we'll do temperature compensated minimums. November six six two Delta Papa. Contact uh, Swiss Rider on one two eight decimal nine by one two eight decimal nine number six six two Delta Papa, good day. Swiss radar on number six six two Delta Papa, flight level one two zero. November 662 Delta Papa, more than 25, actually to Telno for the Telno 2 mic. Turn on Telno 2 mic, number 62 Delta Papa. Alright, so we oh. instead got a procedure? arrival procedure, so Telno 2 mic. Yep, and we'll go ahead and go direct to Telno. Just sort of briefly arrival. Alright, we're coming in at Telno. Alright, Telno, out or above 86. Yep. Here we need to be at Amrit out above eight, and then the descent four. And Birki is on our final. It's our final approach fix. Will give us the ILS in. Uh, if they don't give us vectors, which they may well do, right? We would. It looks like we probably want to do a procedure turn. Right. So there's an ATIS. If we have any, uh, if we're confused at all, we'll climb 7200 or 158. Roger. Uh, which way we are. And then the ILS plate with. Uh, right, and max speed is 170 knots. Which will hit, yeah. So, max speed at Birki is 170. Which is fine, because we'll start to be slowing it down then, won't we? Yeah, we should be thinking about uh, uh, our normal approach uh, procedure. Uh, so. Alright. Uh, yep, happy with all that. Mike Let's call that brief. Let's just get the latest latest. This is Vernon Information, Charlie, at 1150. ILS approach, landing runway 14, departure runway 32. Transition level, 75. Bring clearance delivery, not active. Wind, tree, two, zero degrees, eight knots. Visibility, five kilometers. I think we're still on Charlie, so no changes. That's good. And it'll be because of this arrival procedure is fairly short. Right. We can already look at our uh, ILS. Number 662 does have like to start the descent for arrival. Two Delta Papa, descent to flight level 100. Delta Papa 100, number 622 Delta Papa. I put it down as a uh, 800. So, if we want, we can go ahead and switch on Fiki. Ice protection on. 
Right now with the ice protection on, there's an overspeed potential. But we'll get a warning if we're going too fast. Hey, firm. Bye-bye. This is 186 Whiskey, come to flight level 200. Let me know 200, this is 186 November 662, Delta Papa, contact uh, burn on 127, that's ML325, goodbye. 127325, goodbye, number 622, Papa Papa. Hello, hello. Send him off, Papa. Burn November 662, Delta Papa, descending flight level 100, information Charlie, QNH 1004. November 662, Delta Papa, burn arrival, hello, continue. Uh, Willi Zao Birki, expect vectors for the LS14 and uh, Kulbak for the sent, you'll be number two behind the uh, Challenger. And I uh, just confirmed that's Freeburg, then Birki, November 662. FM Freeburg Birki. Great, and we're number two, November 662. You said Willi Zao, which is there. Oh, okay. We're coming in from here. Ground speed at 200. Arrival, uh, good day, Lanix uh, 20 Charlie Lima, plus 150, descending 110, one, direct Bella to join Willis or 2 Mike, 2 Mike, arrival. I was wondering why I wasn't coming out. Lanix 20 Charlie Lima, plus 150, direct to Birki, descend to flight level 80. Descend flight level 80, right uh, direct Birki, Lanix uh, 20 Charlie Alright, come on, PIC, last one. November 2, Delta Papa, flighting 050. Heading 050, number 262, uh, Delapapa. Don't know what that bloody call that was. <laughs> Rolex 20, Charlie Lima, uh, present nice, wind, 320 degrees, 7 knots. Uh, expect runway 14. Yeah, it's coming out my side. Would be available, Great. but uh, visibility is marginal. In the right and base region. Oh no. Hey, did you hear that? What's that? This is marginal on the right hand uh, base region. I think we're going to land. Makes sense. Yeah, the minute, yeah. It's not ideal. But. But now we're on a heading, so. November 2, Delta Papa, descend to level 80. Do you think that's like down at 2, Delta Papa? I don't think we're in ice and clouds, actually. No, not the so, so that's a, yeah. That's minus 12, yeah. so in theory we could be getting it, but... I don't, uh... I don't see ice forming where there's no TKS, so... Number 2 Delta Papa, turn left heading 320 for downwind. Left 320 of downwind, number 2 Delta Papa. Lonex, 20 Charlie Lima, this is a 6000. There's the airport, see it? Oh yeah. Yeah, so we're left right hand downwind now. Yep, so let's go ahead and uh, activate the approach, vectors to final, that's what we're getting. Right. So. <laughs> no. November 2 Delta Papa, this is 7,000 feet, QNH 1004. This is 7,000 feet, QNH 1004, number 2 Delta Papa. Delta Papa correct, and uh, for information, present wind 320 degrees, 6 knots, uh, expect landing 1 and 1 4. 3 2 would be available on request, but uh, one four is fine. the visibility is marginal in the vicinity of right and base. Watch that, copy, do the left level 1 4, number 2 Delta Papa. Okay, Next to zero, Charlie Lima, this and a 4,000 feet. Oh, back to arrival. What are we doing now? 4,000 feet, uh, clear for the LSM. Activate back to final. I see the ground. Right, he's expecting us to descend probably a little faster. Okay, that's right. Fine with me. And we'll switch off our icing. Hey, I think we're coming straight into land, man. Look at this. This layer yeah. of uh, scattered Good clouds is not uh, working in our favor right now. Sorry, man. Fine. I got 200 to go. 
Delta Papa, descend at 6,000 feet. Descend 6,000 feet, number 2 Delta Papa. Surely he could just, like, tell us to come down all the way, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I was, I was just as you come into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just come down all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just come down all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just come down all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Welcome to Switzerland. Living the dream. Localizer established 14. Here we are, ECS. Lima, radar yeah. service terminated. Contact tower 121, decimal 025, bye. 121025, Lennox to 0 Charlie. November 2 Delta Papa, turn right heading 050, descend to 5000 feet. Right, 050, descend now, shoot 5000 feet, number 2 Delta Papa. Yeah, so we're, uh, here we are, uh, 3,000 feet above the ground. November 2, Delta Papa, descend 4,000 feet, turn right, heading 110, clear dial is 14, report established. Turn, turn altitude 4,000 feet, turn right, heading 110 degrees, port established, November 2, Delta Papa. Alright, so... We're quite high again, aren't we? Oh no, we're good, we're good, so here's our ILS path, you see that? Oh yeah, so this descent rate is fine. Right? 900 feet a minute is absolutely fine. What we do need to do is begin to think about slowing it down. Yeah. Right? So, yep, make sure it's rich, right? So, this is our before landing checklist. Yep. Right? So, seatbelts are secure. Thank them. Right? Sure. Brake pressure feels good. Right? Mixtures on, or uh, fuel pumps on boost. Okay. I'm going to switch tanks for the last little bit. Make sure it's rich. Flaps are set as required. Oxygen is off. Landing lights are all on. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna retard the throttle a little bit and begin slowing down. Yeah. And we got tower next, haven't we? Yep. So that's plugged in. All right. As soon as we level off. All right. And as soon as we level off and get below 150 knots. Get first stage of flaps in. We're going to put in those first notch of flaps. Number 2 Delta Papa is localized and established. Great. 2 Delta Papa, radar service terminated. Contact tower 121, decimal 025. Bye. 121025, good day. Number 2 Delta Papa. Tower number 622 Delta Papa on the ILS runway 14. November 662 Delta Papa, burn tower, hello, continue approach. Tailwind 320 degrees 6 knots. Continue approach number 622 Delta Papa. And the November uh, 2 Delta Pop, confirm your number 2, the tailwind is 6 knots. Number 2 and copy the tailwind, number 622 Delta Pop. Alright, so we're going to want to do this approach a little slower than we normally would, right? So let's yeah. take about 100 knots. So let's put that first notch of flaps in now, when we have one one dot on the glide slope. Right? And then we start to pitch down, and you'll find it's probably around 12 inches of manifold pressure. Watch right? right? Uh, we've got landing lights on, everything's on. Yeah, so let's manage that, right? Go ahead and hand fly now. Yeah, well, ground speed. Zero, Charlie Lima, okay, to the left side, taxi Delta, follow the marshal. To so the left uh, via Delta, follow the marshal, I land to zero, Charlie one. Great, yeah, that's good. 100 knots, right? The trend is to get a little slower, so you might need to bump up the power just a touch. Just a fraction. This is the city of Baron below us. Yeah, I'm really enjoying looking at it. Uh, uh, we're runway uh, sight. Uh, Ru runway's assured. Uh, Roger. Yeah, got it. Got Number two, Delta Papa. Tailwind 320 degrees 6 knots. Runway 14, click to land. 314, clear to land number 2 Delta Papa. Okay, I'm out of the window now, visual. Okay, so uh, full flaps. Do you want them yep, in here? Below 110. It's fine. Now we're slightly high. That's okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's quite a descent gradient, this, isn't it? Minimums. Minimums. There, well, we're committing ourselves to the land. We already did that. Alright, so don't change anything. Yeah, you feel that tailwind. Yeah, it's definitely pushing us. Great. Alright, now we can start to think about slowing down. All right, nice short final, retard that throttle, pitch up a touch. All right, it's a nice long runway, so there's no rush to get down. Keep flying it down, keep flying it down. Don't, don't pitch up yet. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's just... <coughs> Judging the height, isn't it? See what happened? Yeah. Right? It automatically switched the airport diagram. Wow. Okay? So this is an example of a processing. Right? Now that we have more processing power, because it's a newer computer, 20 yeah. years newer, right? It can We can do things like that, like a little bit of intuition. I'm to the pop by my photo marshal. Follow marshal, I'm to a lot of big airplanes here. Yeah. That wasn't too bad, my approach on the no, it was good. Out. It was great, yeah. Here, I'll get your flaps, wow. I'll get your pitot heat, and landing light. And follow the marshal. You focus on the taxi. It was gonna bring you all the way to that blue line. There you go. Right, shut down in the service isn't too hard, is it? You just turn everything off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So fuel pump first, and then make sure I don't cut off. Just uh, you've already set it to a thousand RPMs. So yeah, and there we are. Off. Welcome to Bear. Oh. Yeah, look at those, uh, look at those mountains there. So this is, yeah. a, this is the Alps, right? So we've just landed at Bern. The weather here isn't as good as uh, we were hoping, really. We're meant to be doing some mountain flying, but really, you see the difficulty. Yeah, so, uh, not the best day to be going, uh, flying along in the, in the valleys. No, which is sad. We had a really good route over. I think total time was about two hours, 40 minutes, something like that, yep. uh, flight time and then landed via an ILS approach, which went okay. Um, hopefully I got it on the centre line. Yeah, so. it, was, it was good. Um, so we now need to get a train to Zurich and we're flying back tonight. But Philippe, thank you very much for having me of again. Of course, yeah. Great to see you. you bet. Thanks for joining and uh, thanks for getting me on my week-long tour of, uh, <laughs> of the Alps. Oh, Appreciate it. Thanks.